Hi, my name is Kerry and this is Kerry Louise Reads. Today I'm bringing you the second instalment of my TBR lists for the year 2022. So I'll link my TBR takedown video and the first instalment of this, which is the oldest books on my TBR in the description, so you can go and check them out. But basically the long and short of it is I have a ridiculous physical TBR and I'm trying to work on getting through it so to help with that I have broken the list down. I've made smaller TBR lists of goals of books that I want to get to in the year so this is the series I want to finish in 2022. Before I get into the books I'm going to read this year I'm going to very quickly recap because I did one of these lists last year which I'll link for you below as well but I'm going to go through very quickly what I plan to read in 2021 and what I actually what series I actually finished. So in 2021 2021 I wanted to finish 10 series and I actually finished 11 they just weren't all the same series so the 10 series I wanted to finish were Dave Bad by S.A. Chakraborty, Wayfarers by Becky Chambers, Renegades by Marissa Meyer, The Carls by Hank Green, Pole Dark by Winston Graham, Dirk Gently by Douglas Adams, Before the Storm by Diane Chamberlain, The Cemetery of Forgotten Books by Carla Therese Safon, Mary Finch by Rose Mellican, and An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. So of those, I finished four of those series, which isn't too bad. And I finished 11 series in total. So I think just focusing my attention helped me to make progress for series. And I did reread quite a lot of the books I need to reread to carry on with these series. I just didn't necessarily get to the end of them. So the series I finished, in the order that I finished them as well, were Dover Bad by S.A. Chakraborty, The Amber and the Ashes Quartet by Sabah Tahir, C.S. Lewis's Space Trilogy, which I read as part of a read-along. I hadn't been intended to pick that up, but actually it'd been on my TBR for a really long time, so I'm glad I got to that one. I did finish The Carls by Hank Green and Renegades by Marissa Meyer. I also finished the Next Together series by Lauren James, so I'd read the two main books, but there were two novellas, short stories really, they weren't very long, so I read both of them so I can now take that off as being a completed series. I read the 101 Dalmatian series by Joey Smith. If you haven't come across the sequel to 101 Dalmatians, it's called The Starlight Barking. It is brilliantly weird, so highly recommend that. I finished the Tex Colon series by Arcadia Martin. I finished the Ray Bearer series by Jordan Ifueko, and I also finished a series called The Wives of King David, which is three books that I am reading for my, um, analysing for my research for my PhD. So that was 11 series that I finished. Of the ones that I hoped to finish last year, some of them are carrying over to this year. There are two that aren't. I think it's just two that aren't. And that's because I realised I need to reread books for them. And for various reasons, I'm just not convinced I'm going to get to the end of these series this year as well as the other ones on the list. So they're kind of on hold. So one of them is the Mary Finch series. I just had one book to go, but now it's been so long since I've read the first two that I actually want to reread them before I read the final one. But the first two are in storage. So that's going to wait until I can get all my books out of storage. And then the other one was The Cemetery of Forgotten books so I need to reread the first one and I've never read the other three. I now do own all of them but yeah they're all quite chunky so whether I will actually get to any of them this year I may try and reread the first one maybe read a couple of them but I don't think I'll finish that series. So I've now come up with a list because I finished 11 series last year I've got 12 series on the list that I want to try and finish this year. To get onto this list they had to be series that I'm already in progress with and that are already out in their entirety so there may be other series that I make progress with that aren't yet out in their entirety but these are the ones that I have selected. <laughs> the majority of these as well will actually help me with getting through my backlist, my physical TBR. A couple of them won't because I've been borrowing the books. One of the series I needed to buy the final two books but I have actually bought them now so it just adds to the incentive to try and finish these series. So there are some overlap with last year. I have already finished two of these as well, which I'm very pleased about. So made a good start. So the first one is Wayfarers. So last year I managed to reread the first three books. I've just got the final one, The Galaxy and the Ground Within, to read. I really love Becky Chambers and I really love this series. And I think I've kind of slightly been putting it off because I don't want it to be over. I do just need to go on and read it. <laughs> so hopefully soon, hopefully, hopefully soon because it's 
yeah, I need to do it before I have to reread the first three books again, which wouldn't be the end of the world. The next series is Poldark. This series I've been trying to get through for years and I really love them, I just never prioritise them. So this is the final book, I've actually got two books I have to read, which are books 11 and 12, I think? Yeah. I started reading these when I was an undergrad, so it's been at least a decade that I've been working through this series. I did take a break when they were making the TV series because it was too confusing with the timelines. So yeah, two books to finish in that. Next is the Dirk Gently series by Douglas Adams. This is the first one. There are three in the series. I need to reread this one and then I can read the other two. They are quite short, but I remember it being very confusing, which is probably why I've been putting it off. Next is Before the Storm by Diane Chamberlain. So I did reread the first one of these last year. I've got the second one to pick up. I keep putting it on TBRs and not getting to it. I didn't love the first one when I reread it with about a three star read so I do want to know what happens to the characters. I will read it at some point but I'm not going to be rushing to pick up anything else by Diane Chamberlain. I do have a couple more of her books in storage but I don't know when I unpack them if I will actually read them or just unhaul them because I don't love this type of book anymore. There was a period of time when I was really into this type of book but I don't love them anymore. Okay next is The Sands of I always say this wrong, Arawaya by Hafsa Vezal. This is the second book, We Free the Stars. We read the first book in kind of the end of the summer for Space Sirens. It's a duology. I really enjoyed the first one. I didn't love it as much as I'd hoped to, which is maybe why I haven't quite got around to picking up the second one yet, but I'm really keen to tick this series off. This is another quite chunky one. A lot of these are quite chunky. The next one isn't. The next one is less chunky. So. This is the Stolen Kingdom series by Bethany Atazada. I reread the first two last year, I now just have this third one to reread and then the fourth one which came out last year. So this didn't quite make it onto the list last year because the fourth one didn't come out till kind of the midpoint of the year. This one is my favourite one and I'm actually gonna try and read it in the next couple of weeks, reread it and it's quite short and then I'll just have the final one to go and I'm really excited actually to get to the end of the series. There's also a prequel series now as well that she's writing which is about kind of the evil queen character from these books so I'm really keen to pick those up as well but I would need to finish this series first. Okay next is the Farsia trilogy by Robin Hobb. I have plans to read the whole of the realm of the elderlings and I have I think seven or eight books from the series now. I read this one a couple of years ago but I need to reread it. I do own the other two for this series so hopefully, I mean the next two are quite chunky but I do want to get on with this really. The next series I want to finish is the Good Girl's Guide to Murder series by Holly Jackson. So I've read the first one. I'm borrowing these from a friend and I'm going to see her soon. So hopefully she's going to lend me the third one. This is the second one because apparently there's a bit of a time gap between the first one and the second one but the, the second and the third one follow on quite soon from each other so I want to have the third one before I read this one so that I can kind of go straight on to it. Really really love the first one and really glad she lent it to me and lots of my space Siren's friends have been raving about these books so really excited to carry on with this series. The next series is the Broken Earth series by N.K. Jemison. I read the first one the fifth season last year. I didn't own the other two at the start of this year but I have bought them now. <laughs> so this is the second one, The Obelisk Gate. I've got the third one as well which I think is called The Stone Sky. So now I own all of them and actually it helps towards my reading goals to read them, <laughs> to get them off my TBR. Hopefully picking this one up before too long while I still have some memory of the first one. I don't want to leave it too long because there was quite a lot of detail in the first one. I don't want to get to a point where I need to reread the first one before I carry on. Nearly there. Okay so I'm going to do this one next because this is the final one that I haven't read so far. This is The Toll by Neil Schusterman. This is the final book in the Ark of the Scythe series. I thought I would have read this by now because I was reading it for the last read book club but when it came time to read this one it was kind of end of January beginning of February which is around the time I had my diagnosis of chronic illness and I just haven't been in the right headspace to pick this up because of a lot of themes in it and it's a little bit chunkier than the first two. So I am going to get to it I've got it out from the library so I have to get to it relatively soon. <laughs> hopefully picking it up in the next month or so, but hopefully when I'm a little bit more in the right headspace for it. So those are the 10 remaining series that I need to finish. I have already finished two series and so I'm going to tell you about them now. So the first series I finished was The Dimple and Rishi Verse by Sandaya Menon. I only had one book left to go in that which was 10 Things I Hate About Pinky. I read it at the start of the year, really really loved it, have really enjoyed all of that series. It's just very lovely, sweet, 
contemporary YA romance, really delightful characters and very much enjoyed that so very glad to have ticked that series off and I'm actually looking at borrowing, she has kind of a contemporary fantasy romance series I think it is, that I'm gonna see if I can pick up at some point during the year but maybe once I've got through some more of these books a little bit more. <laughs> and then the other series that I finished is The Machineries of Empire series by Yoon Ha Lee so I just again had one book to go with that which was the third book Revenant Gun. I read that a couple of weeks ago and again really enjoyed it, really good end to the series and again would happily pick up anything else written by Yoon Ha Lee and now an auto read author for me so that's very exciting. One more series, <laughs> not series, two series, multiple series that I'm going to mention that I'm trying to make progress with partly because I came across a vast stack of her books in her charity shop as Agatha Christie so I was hoping to make progress with the Priory series last year I actually didn't make any progress at all with that but I have started to make some progress this year but what I found when I gained this massive stack of Agatha Christie books from the charity shop was that she has several other detective characters that feature in some of the books and they overlap some stories with Poirot particularly. So I have now made this very complicated spreadsheet that I'm going to show you a screenshot of to help me track <laughs> what order I need to read the books in so that I can try and make sure I come across all the characters in the right order. So I'm hoping to make some progress with my Agatha Christie books this year. I'd like to get a little bit further into the Poirot series. The next one I've got to read for that is The Mystery of the Blue Train, which is book six. I'd also like to make some progress with the Tommy and Tuppence series. Potentially could finish Tommy and Tuppence if I just focused on that. And I now have, there are five books. I've read the first one, there, so there are four left. And I know, now I'm three of them, so I'm only missing one. So I actually potentially could finish Tommy and Tuppence this year if I focus on that but I might alternate between various of Agatha Christie's books and just try and tick them all off. She's one of my all-time favourite authors and has yet to disappoint me. Well that was very quick race through some series I'm hoping to finish in 2022. There will be a couple more of these TBR list videos to come over the coming week so keep your eyes out for those. Let me know if you've read any of these series or any of these books and what you thought of them. Let me know some series that you're trying to finish this year or if you would just like to let me know that you've been here you can leave me a detective emoji for Agatha Christie. You can leave that in the comments. You can also like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already. And you can also follow me on social media. All that information is listed for you in the description box below. But that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.